Guys, welcome back to Southern Extreme TV. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on my channel. Today, I want to talk about a custom rifle build, but specifically a rifle build using an Ultradyne chassis. Thanks so much for hanging out with me on my channel. If you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are trying to grow this thing to 100,000 subs. But let's get into today's video. This is my new hunting rifle. This is a custom rifle that was put together and built by Night Stalker Precision. Um, it's featuring a BSF barrel 308 caliber. I've got a tracked optics scope on top, which if you know me, you know that I absolutely love tracked optics and the glass that they offer. Super clear scope, really, really love it. Um, but the, the one thing I want to talk about today is the chassis that this rifle sits in because there's a, a wide variety of different carbon and steel barrel manufacturers on the market, different action manufacturers on the market that you can pick and choose from. Um, but from a chassis perspective, there's not that much on the market to choose from. You've got your XLR guys, you've got your MDT guys, and there might be a couple other uh, units that are out there on the market, but this, this company called Ultradyne is a company that I become very familiar with in the gun building process, mainly trying to piece together the perfect build for me and for what I want to do out of this rifle um, and doing it on a budget friendly option now obviously budget and custom don't typically go together however if you're like me and you you value materials and gear that you get a lot of value out of for the money you get a lot of features you get a lot of aspects um, versus the money that you're spending ultradyne is going to fit that bill for you so um, Ultradyne is a, a chassis manufacturer. They offer three different styles. So right here, I've got a five, uh, a five slot chassis. They make a three slot and they make a seven slot. And obviously the more slots that you have, the longer the four end is and the shorter, um, obviously the, the shorter it is. Um, I went with the five slot, which is to me kind of that happy medium between a really, really short uh, chassis and then the longer chassis like you might see on a competition style rifle or maybe a rifle that has a little bit longer barrel um, or maybe you need some attachments more out on the end of the chassis system. Uh, but for this gun right here, I'm featuring a 16 inch 308 barrel. Um, and, and again, to me, this is the perfect all around chassis system. And I wanna talk about some of the features as to why I think that's the case and why this may be the best chassis system for you in lieu of some of the other people that may be on the market. Um, because the other manufacturers out on the market, they, they manufacture some fantastic chassis systems that are very high end and very durable and, and will last a very long time. Um, however, this Ultradyne system will do the exact same thing, but it saves you a little bit of money. And one thing that I really like about it is you get a multitude of different color Cerakote options that you can go with. And obviously they match your buttstock to go with it, which is really nice. So this right here is their, I believe it's called their Midnight Bronze or some people call it a Burnt Bronze. Um, I decided to go with this color because it's more of a muted brown versus the, the flat dark earth or the coyote brown that you see on the market that's really that bright desert brown. Whereas here where I'm from, a lot of our browns and our shade colors are a little bit on the darker side. That's why I elected to go with this, this color scheme and it, it turned out fantastic. Um, again, another feature and, and some of the things that I like about it is, is obviously you, you can get different color options. You have the built-in Arca rail, which is a very big deal to me from a chassis system because there's some chassis that are out there, stocks out there on the market that either you have to add an Arca plate onto the bottom of the chassis system or you have to actually drill and tap it so that you can then add an Arca plate to the bottom of your chassis system. Whereas with this rifle here, you can see here on the bottom of this, there is no plate whatsoever. And there's a groove that runs all the way down through here. And what that means is this entire forend is a built-in Arca rail. So basically your Arca rail is built into this chassis um, and that's a huge deal because it eliminates having this bulky uh, add-on plate that's on the bottom that to me can be comfortable, uncomfortable to hold if you're in a situation where maybe you're shouldering your rifle, you just don't 
to me, I don't really want that extra lump right there unless I am solely shooting off of a tripod, then it doesn't really make that big of a deal. But with this rifle, I wanted it to be to be a do-it-all type rifle. Um, so I wanted to be able to carry it in on the mountains, backpack it in, maneuver it around trees really easy. But then I also wanted that feature to where if I wanted to come out and shoot off of a tripod, all I have to do is lay it down to my Arca compatible ball head, lock it in, and I'm good to go. And you can see this gun is not going anywhere. Obviously, the tighter that I make the system, the, the more stable it's going to be. So really, really cool feature that they have there that a lot of chassis manufacturers on the market may or may not have. Again, some of your bigger name brands are going to have that feature available, but typically that cost comes with a premium for their chassis system, which is not the case with the Ultra 9 system. Um, obviously, you can see here I've got a Hogue grip on the bottom of this, which is a big deal. I'm a big fan of Hogue grips. They don't sponsor the channel whatsoever. I've just been running these Hogue AR-15 style grips ever since we've started really shooting the AR platform in this chassis style bolt uh, series. Um, really love that feature. So if you have a proprietary AR-15 style um, grip that you like, then you can add it to this Ultradyne system. So that's really nice. If there's something that you're comfortable with that you're already shooting, then you can just get another one of those grips and put it on here and it's gonna work perfect. Um, another thing that I really like about this chassis system, and it's it, it, it goes across the board for a lot of other chassis manufacturers out there, but the Ultradyne specifically allows you to add a folding stock adapter. Now, Ultradyne is in the process, I believe, of working through some details on a folding stock adapter. I don't know when they're gonna release that, if it's gonna release. I know they're doing some testing now and trying to figure, figure out how to get it just right. Uh, for now, I've got my own uh, aftermarket folding adapter here that has a lock button that will allow this butt stock to fold completely to the side which is really, really nice because again, I wanted this rifle to be a do-it-all type of rifle so that I can backpack it in. If I've got to haul a deer out, haul a bear out, whatever it may be, I can, I can compact this rifle down as tight and as small as I can get it to be able to get in and out of those places that maybe some other people might not be going. And then also, if you're just a competition shooter, or you're somebody that enjoys going to the range, having a smaller compact rifle that you can pack up and pack in just makes your day at the range a lot easier as far as getting in and out of the vehicle, loading stuff up. It just makes things a lot easier to deal with. Um, and then obviously to deploy the buttstock, it's just a simple turn and latch there. So being able to integrate a folding adapter with this chassis system is, is really, really nice. Um, you are gonna be able to use your typical AICS magazines. So if you've got some of these PMAGs laying around um, that you're using on some of your other bolt guns, then you're gonna be able to use that in this chassis system as well. The one negative that I got about this chassis system is you do not have the ability to run the flush three uh, round mag. So you have to run the minimum five round mag out of this thing um, for it to work. I know on some of your other bolt guns, like for example, the Springfield Armory, which is not necessarily on a chassis system, it's got a, a stock. You can run that three round mag. And what that does is it makes this entire area right here just completely flat all the way back to your trigger, uh, your trigger guard. But the way that these chassis systems are typically built, they're designed to have a five round mag, a 10 round mag, a 30 round mag, whatever it may be. Um, you can put that top magazine as long as that it's a AICS format, it will fit. Um, it's a really, really awesome deal. Uh, I like the lightweight package that Ultradyne has. It's very lightweight in comparison to some of the other chassis that I found out there on the market. And the good thing about it is you don't have to pay for carbon fiber to get that weight reduction. I know right now on the market, there's a huge boom in everything wanting to be carbon fiber, which I'm a huge fan of carbon fiber. I've got a carbon fiber barrel here. We shoot all carbon fiber guns whenever we're going predator hunting. So I'm a big fan of that. However, in this rifle, I really wanted something that was metal. And the reason for that is this is going to be a working rifle. This is something that I'm gonna be taking through the woods. I'm gonna be beating the crap out of. 
Um, I may have a chance to drop it on some rocks and things of that nature. And not saying that the carbon fiber chassis that's out there on the market are not going to hold up to that. I just feel like the metal is going to hold up slightly better. Um, and then if it gets some chips or scratches along the way, then either I can re it myself or send it back to Ultradyne um, and pay them to, to re it for me as well. So it, it's 100% a, a do-it-all type of rifle. And to me, what really brings the package together is the chassis system that this gun is sitting in. Um, the color features and the Cerakote process, that's one thing I want to talk about. Um, one thing I'm a little weary, leery of on manufacturers when they start doing Cerakotes is how well the Cerakote process is going to hold up over time. Um, and one thing that is a great way to test the durability of the Cerakote process, especially with a, a, a chassis system that has a built-in arca rail, is to see right here where the gun is going in and out of your arca clamp. This Again, this is metal on metal because you want a good solid base holding this rifle. If you can typically see a bunch of wear and tear on that chassis system from an early start, just from taking your gun in and out of this arca plate, then typically you can tell that that Cerakote job is not um, very good. However, with this rifle here, I've been shooting it at the range, target practicing with it, and mainly when I'm doing my target practicing, I'm doing it out here at my range, and I'm doing it typically from a tripod, either this Athlon CF40 or the Fat Boy tripod it is typically my go-to, both of which have a ball head arca plate or arca uh, ball head on top so i'm constantly taking this rifle in and out in and out of these metal clamps and i've not seen any wear and tear on this cerakote process yet so that's a really good thing because that's a high traffic area as far as on your chassis because again your forearm your forehand is going to go right here when you're carrying it and you're shooting it so you're going to get a lot of traffic right here just from um, holding it carrying it maneuvering it around so the fact that it's holding up to metal on metal contact is a big deal um, obviously if you drop it on rocks or you beat it it's just going to be like anything else you're going to get some some dings and scratches and things of that nature but just your everyday normal wear and tear it seems to be holding up so i'm really thrilled about that um, Ultradyne does offer two or three different style buttstocks. So this buttstock does has, have the adjustable comb height as well as your length of pull. Um, your length of pull is done with spacers and then your comb height has a set screw here. You just loosen it up and this comb rises and lowers. This is, I, I would say, what they would consider to be more of the competition style um, buttstock where you've got a bag rider down here on the bottom that is removable if you don't like it. However, they do make a very lightweight style, but the comb height is permanent. So if you're a top guy that may be swapping optics in and out, for example, maybe you want to set the rifle up to do some very close quarter hunting and you've got a scope very similar to this track, or maybe you want to then take that scope off and go do some long range shooting, having that adjustable comb height might benefit you. Whereas if you're somebody that just like, man, I, I want to set my gun up, I want to set it up with a scope that I like, and I want to be done. I don't want to touch it ever again. Then that lighter weight buttstock might be the route for you um, just so that you can get it set one time and you don't have to worry about all these set screws and anything else. It's very simplistic. It's going to shave a couple ounces off your rifle as well because, again, you're not getting all of this added stuff and weight back here on this buttstock. But for me, you know, with this rifle, I want it to be very user friendly and adjustable. Whereas if I decided that I want to take this track off and put on my long range track scope, for example, if I wanted to go shoot long range, then I want to be able to have that comb adjustment so that I can get a little bit higher uh, uh, eye line with my scope so that I can shoot different optics if I want to. So you've got different options whenever it comes to that. Um, really, there's no negatives a as of right now. And again, this is, I've had this gun now for close to a month and a half, two months, somewhere in that ballpark. And I've been just kind of toying with it out here on the range, testing it out, shooting it. Um, it's very, very nice to carry. It's very lightweight. It's, it's very durable from what I can tell and it's just been a flat out joy to shoot. So if you guys are in the market looking for a custom build, check out uh, Night Stalker Precision because they can build you a rifle very similar to this. And we got a lovely airplane dive bombing us right here. Um, you can get with Night Stalker Precision 
and they can build you a gun just like this or if you already have a rifle which is a, a, a big deal say you got a savage 110 action or a remington model 700 action whatever your action may be ultradyne can build a chassis that's going to fit your specific action so if you've already got a rifle maybe you're just looking to give it a facelift and you know be able to make it look a little bit better have the functionality of a folding stock or a, a, a chassis system then you can buy just the chassis straight from ultradyne um, and and you can it's, it's, it's very simple it's typically two bolts that you drop in drop out set your action your barreled action into it put your screws back in and you're all set and good to go so very simple to install you can do it at home with a with a, a set of allen allen wrenches um and there's nothing really negative about it I, I i've loved it so far and like i said you guys are going to be seeing this gun go on a couple of hunting trips with me this fall so i'm super excited to be taking this thing out in the field trying to shoot some white-tailed deer with it um, and I think it's going to be a joy to shoot and we'll be doing bringing you guys a full review of the rifle here before too much longer where We're going to be doing an accuracy test show showcasing the trigger the action everything that kind of completes this rifle as a package so Really enjoyed the video if you guys are new to southern extreme TV Make sure you hit that subscribe button like I said earlier We are trying to grow this thing to a hundred thousand subs and every click gets me one step closer So if you've got any questions about this drop a comment down below I'll try to answer them uh, to the best of my ability if I don't know the answer I'll try to get you in contact with somebody who may be a little uh, Smarter than I am so like always. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see y'all in the next episode